Welcome back to London Go. Thomas Balatena is an artist who specialises in oil paints and his work has been featured in the BP Portrait Award at the National Portrait Gallery. This week, a striking selection of his work went on show in Piccadilly. Uh, so Thomas, tell us how you chose uh, this selection of work uh, to, to put up this week. Uh, well, actually, um, it's all about... Um, I, I normally like to paint... It's a selection of cityscapes mainly and interiors of things that really have to do very much with my daily life. But it's got a, a bit of decadence and melancholia in it. I like, I'm particularly attracted to that kind of atmosphere. And so you can have like this, um, uh, this particularly uh, emblematic like bars or clubs in London where I like, like to go to, streets, ambiance. And that includes, it's not just about that, it's, you know, I've got like also some portraits, but it's not only about the portrait um, as such, it's also about the uh, what it transmits you, the melancholia, the decadence, all that sort of stuff. It's funny you really. sort of say decadence in the bars and clubs. We think of these places as, as positive, upbeat environments, don't we? But yeah. you're, and you seem like a, a pretty positive t kind of guy, but you're, you're in there and you're looking for a, a slightly darker edge, is it fair to say? Yeah, uh, but I don't see it in a bad way, actually. I mean, decadence also could have a, like, I think it's a... It's kind of um, uh, exciting in some sort of way, you know, positive decadence, not too much. If it goes too much, it's just, you know, but a bit of decadence, a bit of mystery, a bit of, um, you know, that kind of uh, darkness in some sort of way. I'm quite, kind of attracted to that. I've always been and uh, I've, I've experienced it quite a lot. Did you... Do you approach your portraits and, and landscapes, cityscapes in the same way or do you, do, you, do you have a different approach when you go over them? Actually, uh, no, I do approach them exactly the same way. It doesn't matter like the subject, it's just, it's, I, for me it's the same thing. For example, if I do a, an interior of somewhere, it's a portrait of that place of how I see it actually, like a person. It's, it's, it's not, there's no difference for me actually, in that sense. So, so. Yeah. It's, and you've chosen some, some London streets and some London uh, scenes here. Do, do you feel different painting the capital when it comes to other places? Do you think the capital has its own sort of uh, atmosphere and life of its own? Well, I do like... Uh, it does. It's got, it's got a lot of character and personality. And I've, um, I lived here for quite a long time, some years ago. And um, I do feel attracted to the flow and the kind of atmosphere that London has also. And uh, I don't know, I feel very comfortable and it's, there's some areas I feel like very me and I, so yeah. I was, we're going to take, take a couple of your pictures. I know you, you, the whole show is, is a sort of show in itself. It's a whole expression. We're going to pick a couple of pictures out mm. here, if we may. Uh, yeah. One is an extraordinary portrait that you've come up with. Uh, quite a character here. Tell us a, about, about this man and painting this. Well, uh, I've just actually finished painting this. It's, um, it's a, it's a friend of mine, actually. He's a kind of a character. He's a, he's a Spanish uh, uh, writer, quite flamboyant and extrovert. You know, and, uh, and he travels a lot around the world. He's a bit eccentric, and uh, I think it shows in the portrait exactly <laughs> all those things. And uh, I like the intensity of the look of his face, also of the dog in itself. It's a portrait of him and the dog, and how he's holding firm with the dog, and all the attributes. I mean, what he's wearing, the shirt, the uh, turban. I think he's exactly him, and I think you could see through through his face into his interior, but what he's all about, you know. It's not just like a, a superficial portrayal of that person, it just tells a, who, who's that person. Quite sort of, lots of, sort of symbols there. Now another picture yeah. we're going to draw, another portrait, and altogether slightly more darker. I said it reminded me a bit of a sort of Rembrandt. Uh, oh. Tell us about uh, this and, and how you, why you chose to paint this Well, person. for example, it's what I was saying before. It, it uh, depicts exactly what I was talking about. This, um, Interiors that I like to do, like this um, a bit decadent bars and corners, whenever you know a bit, and it's this this person shows some all of those kind of sim symptoms or signs in in, the, in himself the tension, the decadence, the melancholia, and it's not about uh, it tells a story by itself as as all the ambience and the city, well, you know all the other subjects that I choose to paint, so it just makes a um, so are you looking, would you say, for people with maybe a slightly darker side to their personality when you want to, to look at a subject? I'm painting? drawn to that kind of thing, yeah. I don't really choose it, it's just, it just, I'm just drawn to it and I just have to do it. You can see his work at the Maison Asseline on Piccadilly.